Yo, what's up guys, Complies here. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a few different keybinds that you guys need to be using to help improve your gameplay. We'll be talking a little bit about scroll wheel jump, scroll wheel interact, and of course the new craze tap strafing. I did a video on this a while ago, but I only talked about scroll wheel jumping and scroll wheel interact. However, there is a way where you can use all three simultaneously, so I'll be showing you guys how to do all that. But before we get into this video, remember that if you do enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Links to all my social medias are in the description below. But most importantly, be sure to follow my Twitch so you can watch me play Apex just about every other day. So before I show you guys how to set all this stuff up in your game files, I'm going to demonstrate each one and talk about it just a little bit. So the first one we're going to talk about is scroll wheel jump. Now what scroll wheel jump allows you to do is that it allows you to wall bounce like this. It allows you to B hop like this. You can B hop heal. And it also makes zipline jumping 10 times easier. This is probably one of the longest standing and most useful keybinds that's been around in Apex forever. Just about every pro player uses this, and it's because it's just so versatile and it allows you to do so much more than you could with just regular spacebar jump. Now the second one we're going to be talking about is scroll wheel interact. Now this keybind isn't as popular in the Apex community as it is in other battle royales. I know it was pretty popular in Fortnite and also PUBG, but what Scroll Wheel Interact allows you to do is that it allows you to get multiple loot items simultaneously rather than pressing each one one by one. So real quick, I'll demonstrate for you the difference. So this is what Scroll Wheel Interact looks like. See how I instantly picked up all that ammo? And this is what it's going to look like when you just use regular Interact. Now I know a lot of you might not be thinking that difference is huge, but when someone is landing on you and you're trying to get a gun before them, those milliseconds really do matter. And I can't tell you how many more gunfights I've won because of this. This is also going to make your loot path much easier to clear as you're just going to be swiping up all the loot so fast. It's going to make you much more fluid, which as you move up to the higher levels of rank, this is going to be very important. The third keybind we're going to be talking about is tap strafing. This one is sort of newer to the Apex community, but it opens up a huge door for the skill gap and movement. I see some people doing some crazy stuff with tap strafe. It makes you an insanely hard target to hit. And real quick, I'll demonstrate for you what it looks like. So this is just a simple demonstration of what tap strafing looks like. You can literally do a 180 degree turn, which if you're fighting someone and you bust this out, it's going to make you such a hard target to hit and they're not going to be expecting it whatsoever. So say I'm fighting this guy, you know, hit a few wingman shots. I need to reload. I hit this tap strafe on him. He's not going to know what hit him. You're going to be zooming around his head like a mosquito on a hot summer day. And he's going to have absolutely no shot unless he's on controller. Then it's probably just going to track for him. And the fourth and final bind that we're going to be talking about is for all my auto sprinters out there. I recently did a poll on Twitter where I asked how many people use auto sprint and it got just under 2000 votes, but it was split almost 50 50 with auto sprint losing just by a few percent. Now, for those of you that don't know, the reason why I switched off auto sprint and why I recommend you guys to switch off it too is because there's an insane amount of delay when pulling out your weapon that's especially noticeable with shotguns. And I'll demonstrate that for you real quick. So this is what a shotgun looks like with auto sprint on. Notice how I barely move forward. I have to wait that split second to pull my gun back up. And when you're in a shotgun fight, you're doing all kinds of movement. You're not just sitting here standing still tracking a target. Now you could combat this by standing still in between each and every shot, but even I find that to be pretty inconsistent. If some of you guys have been noticing that your shotgun doesn't shoot sometimes, it could very well be because of the auto sprint delay. Now real quick, I'll demonstrate what no auto sprint looks like for you. So this is what your shotgun is going to look like without auto sprint. Notice how I can move freely forward, backward, and side to side. This is going to make hitting your shots a whole lot easier, especially in bubble fights. This is the place that I noticed it the most where I was just whipping shotgun shots that I shouldn't be. But however, if you do want to stay on auto sprint, this key bind will be for you. So basically all this bind does is it binds your walk to your left shift key to which would normally be what your sprint key is. So all you have to do is just hold down left shift and you'll be walking. Now it might be kind of hard to get used to holding down left shift in all of your shotgun fights and your bubble fights. But I guess this is just one of the things that if you don't want to switch off auto sprint, you're going to have to deal with. But notice how I auto sprint is now on, but I'm not getting that delay because I'm holding down that shift key. So now that I've explained each one just a little bit, we're going to go into our game files and I'll show you guys how to set it up. So now all we have to do is go to our Windows search bar, type in saved games, click on that, respawn, apex, local, settings.cfg and you're going to scroll down just a little bit and the first thing we want to find is your mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down binds now if you don't want to use all three of these binds in your scroll wheel you could just set it up in game to each one that you want that's pretty self-explanatory and easy to do however if you're just following the video and you want to set up all three 
for maximum efficiency, this is what you need to do. So in the description below, I will have it copied. All you need to do is copy and paste this in right here. Now I have interact and tap strafe on my up and I have jump on my down. If you guys wanna switch that up, all you would have to do is put your jump up to your mouse wheel up and then move one of those down. You can set it to whatever you want. This is just what I find most comfortable for me personally. I've been using jump on my mouse wheel down for years now and I've been using interact on my mouse wheel up for a couple years too. So this is just what's comfortable for me. It may not be the same for you. So just go ahead and you can experiment with whatever you want and just find what works for you. And the keybind for hold to walk on auto sprint is gonna be this one right here. Bind left shift to walk. I will also have that copied in the description below. All you need to do is copy and paste that over your previous left shift keybind. And then once you guys do that, all you have to do, X out of it, right click, properties, read only and apply. However, if you guys do want to go back and change it, you're going to have to uncheck read only, hit apply and then go back. Now we've got that all set up and we'll go back in game and demonstrate them for you all real quick again. All right, guys, so now that we got all that set up, you guys are now on your way to becoming movement demons. I really hope this video helped you. And deep down, I really know this video is going to help you as long as you use these keybinds properly and are actually focused on improving. This is going to be huge for you. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Remember that if you do enjoy this content, please leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell and be sure to check out all my social medias in the description below. But out of all those social medias, the one that I really care about the most is my Twitch. So be sure to go over there and follow that, where I'll probably be playing some Apex Live later that day. The rest of this video is just a little gameplay that I got from my Twitch. So if you stick around, I really appreciate it. Huge shout out to the new editor, Celeste. He's going to be helping me a lot. So hopefully we'll be able to crank out some more videos, more higher quality videos as well here soon. The link to his channel will be down in the description below. So be sure to check him out. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoy the rest of this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace. I'm making my way downtown. Who's on top? Where's the audio on this thing? Both cracked. Both cracked. Both one. Both one. Both one. Other one's on the stairs. Jesus. What is this lifeline doing? Just chilling up top. She's left. Nice. One itself. What's hot? It's just hot. Oh, I know. There's a balk up here. I'm climbed up. I'm going back to I'm going back to the streamer building. We fight it there. Going up on roof. Horizon one. Holy f she's just spamming maze. You're so trash what the f is going on i literally can't see it
Jesus Christ. Schnoozer to win? A what reveal? There's a team here. Take a port back. Just take port, bro. He took it back. <laughs> nope. He's literally one, bro. Alright, I'm coming. Oh, they hit me, what the f What how literally won, bro? You gotta drop, motherfucker. This is about the ult, bro. Controller turn? She died to she died to storm trying to ult. <laughs>